Hey there and welcome to my sewing tutorial for the scarlet dress. You will find a link to the sewing pattern and all the material details down in the description box. First, prep and cut the fabric. Pin the pattern pieces on your fabric following the pattern grain lines. Make sure that all the garment pieces will be cut in the right direction. Transfer all the pattern markings to your cutout fabric. Stitch the bust darts along the marked lines on the wrong side of front. Next, pin and stitch the front waist seam. Stitch the waist seam on both back pieces. Now it's time to start working on the zipper. Start by finishing the row edges in the middle of the back pieces. Do not stitch the pieces together, just finish the row edges separately. Open the zipper and gently press out the curled zipper teeth. This would help you stitch closer and get a cleaner finish. Be sure to use a low setting as too much heat can harm your zipper. Pin the open zipper against the fabric so that the right side of the fabric and the right side of the zipper are facing each other and the zipper teeth are along the seam line. Set the zipper so that the zipper pull is about 2 and 3 eighths of an inch or 6 centimeters from the upper edge. Pin and paste in place. Now stitch the open zipper close to the zipper teeth, starting at the top edge and finishing at the zipper pull. Backstitch at the beginning and the end. For best practices, use an invisible zipper foot. This is not necessary, but makes sewing invisible zippers a lot easier. Go through the same steps for the other side of the zipper. Now it's time to finish the seams below and above the zipper. Start by pinning the seam below. Make sure that the end of the zipper tape stays out of the way when pinning and sewing. Position and lower the needle slightly above and to the left of the existing zipper tape. Be careful not to sew through the zipper tape. Now stitch the remaining center back seam below the zip. Normally you would now press open this seam with an ironing machine, but fabrics like velvet shouldn't be ironed as it crushes and damages its pile. Instead, Press the seam open with your hands. I like a very neat finish, so I will sew the edges of the zipper tape into the seam allowance close to the edge with a normal sewing machine foot. This can also be done already before sewing the zipper in place. Now it's time for the seam above the zipper. Watch out for the zip.
onto the shoulder seams. With right sides together, pin front to back at shoulders and stitch with a straight stitch. Try on the dress and make sure that the bust darts sit at the right height. If any modifications are needed, remember to do the same ones on the facing as well. Press the shoulder seams open with your hands. Stitch the dress side seams with a straight stitch, pressing the bust darts down. Let's move on to the facing. With right sides together, pin the two back neck facing pieces together at center back and stitch. Now pin front neck facing to back neck facing at shoulders with right sides together and stitch. Finish the outer edge of the facing with a serger or a zigzag stitch. Time to work on the necktie. Pin the two tie pieces together at the center. Stitch and finish with a serger or a zigzag stitch. Fold the necktie in half lengthwise, right sides together. This is the part which you will next leave unstitched. Clip the seam allowances at the marked points. This makes it easier to stitch. Pin along the open edge and stitch. Turn the necktie right side out. Now pin the tie to the right side of the garment neckline between the marked points and stitch. Next, fold the necktie down and pin the neckline facing to the necktie and the garment with right sides together. Match the seams of the facing with the seams of the garment. Pin and stitch. By the way, as you can see, I ended up searching the facing seams closed, but this is not needed. What is needed is that the facing and the neckline seams match, so if you do search the facing seams like I did, you should search the neckline seams as well. Trim the seam down to about 1 fourth of an inch or 6 mm to reduce any bulk in the neckline or search the neckline. Clip into the V neckline. Clip close to the seam line but not through it. Fold the facing toward the inside of the dress and understitch around the neck edge by stitching the facing into the seam allowance.
Understitching is a technique that helps a facing stay neatly inside a garment. It's a row of stitches close to the seam line as shown here. As you can see, understitching is not enough to hold the facing inside the dress. Sometimes stitching the shoulders helps, but we are going to stitch the facing bottom part into the dress seam allowance like this, and then pin and baste the neckline and top stitch. This gives us a neat and professional finish. Time for the sleeves. With right sides together, sew the cuffs along the sides. Now stitch the sleeve underarm seams. Then gather the sleeve hem by stitching two parallel rows at pressure foot width from the row edge of the sleeve hem, using long machine stitches at a low thread tension. Leave long thread tails and do not backstitch. Gather the hem by gently pulling on the threads until the width of the hem is the same as the cuff. Even out gathers. Fold the cuffs in half lengthwise and place one sleeve inside one cuff. Line up raw edges of all the fabric layers and match up the seams. Pin in place and stitch along seam line. Finish raw edges and remove the gathering threads. Now e-stitch the sleeve gap between the small circles by stitching two parallel rows using long machine stitches. Leave long thread tails and do not backstitch. Place the sleeve inside the cuff, matching notches and seams. Adjust the ease of the sleeve cap and create tiny ruffles by carefully pulling on the threads. Then pin and paste if needed and stitch. Remove the gathering threads and repeat on the other sleeve. Now it's time to hem the dress. Search the bottom row edge, fold it up and pin and paste the hem in place. Then stitch with a straight stitch. Cut any loose threads and you're done! You now have a beautiful dress that will hopefully be worn and loved for a long time. Please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful so I know to create more in the future. Thank you for watching!